The old stories tell of a distant shore, unreachable by normal means. A world of strange magic and secret knowledge, and riches beyond belief. A cavern ablaze with fire, walls stretching into the infinite. The burning world, lit by the lantern at the heart of creation. Despite what you've been told, these tales are not legends. The world above is real. And after years of searching, I, Garivel, have found the way. If fame and fortune interest any of you, I shall lead you to it. We will assemble at the Monarch Inn tomorrow, nine sharp. And then we make History! He's talking about the surface, Burpee. This can't be good. Morning, Eli. Trix, I, I was just, uh, I didn't expect you to be up. Never went to bed. Your reign of terror is almost over, Trixie. And finishing blow. <laughs> oh, I hate this game. Another round. You're on. And where are you headed on this fine morning? Me? Oh, yeah, I just had an, uh, errand run. An errand, huh? Wouldn't have anything to do with... This? Uh, come on, Trix, uh, give it back. New World Wow. Garvel promises fame and fortune with Burning World Expedition. Finishing blow. What? Oh, come on! This isn't where you're going, is it? Maybe. Who cares? You should, for one. The Burning World is just a myth, a dumb kid's story. Think about it. If there was really a world above, why haven't we seen any people from there? Uh, I'll admit, it does sound a little fishy. So don't waste your time. Ravel's been roping clueless slingers into these dead-end expeditions for years. <gasps> Car Ravel is launching a new expedition! Has anyone seen this? <laughs> a whole world above Slug Terra. <gasps> Imagine. No slugs, no mechs, <gasps> no molenoids. Oh, I'm imagining it. And the gold! Oh, there will be gold, of course. We must go and heal this Ravel out for exploration. Uh, I don't know, Pronto. I, I was gonna go alone. If this guy is taking advantage of people, I should uh, probably check him out. You know, for justice. Oh, please, 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 please! Well, if we're going on official Shane Gang business, East Rift does have the best chocolate root beer floats this side of anywhere. Then it is settled! We will all gold! I, I mean, go. Great. Glad to have the help. So much for keeping this on the down low. This is definitely not worth the root beer. Yeah. You see the kind of people God's stories attract, Eli? Charming. Uh, uh, four extra large floaters, please. And whatever my friends want. Watch yourself, Molenoid. <laughs> Eli, that's Andre Geyser. Who? World-class adventurer. Pretty famous, too. I wonder what a real explorer like that is doing here. Thank you all for coming. As many of you know, the burning world has been my obsession since I was a boy. 
and I recognize many of my previous expeditions were seen as disappointments to those involved. This, however, will be different. He hasn't taken his hands off that book since he came out. We need to get a look at it. The world above offers more than fame and fortune. Take their moon, for example. A planetary body of vast proportions orbiting literally millions of miles above their heads. <laughs> oh, come on. People can't be taking this seriously. You got a problem, Curly? Nope, uh, we're fine. Sorry, no problems here. Isn't that right, Trix? My only problem is that you're all buying this. He's taking advantage of you. Easy, guys. There's no need for trouble here. Only an idiot would be part of a bogus expedition. Are you calling me an idiot? No! Sounds like you're calling yourself an idiot. Trex, stop helping. What? What? <laughs> 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 You just had to say something. I thought we were here on official business. I just wanted to help these people. Burpee! No! No, stop it! You're ruining everything! Now, more annoyed. Everybody, stop! Hey, an inferno slug? Only one person has such a specimen. Don't you know who this is? Uh, hi, I'm Eli Shane. Of course you are. Of course you are. <laughs> oh, this is excellent. Just excellent. Oh, with a Shane on board, this expedition cannot fail. Um, newsflash, Eli's not joining your expedition. Uh, listen, guys, uh, about that. Uh... Oh, you can't be serious. These were the guys shooting at us. It's not that simple. Actually, it is. Either you're with reason and common sense, or you're with this guy. Then I'm with Gar. I'm joining the expedition. I don't think I heard you right, bro. I said I'm staying. You guys head back to base. I'll be home soon. Uh, try to get rid of them so you have a larger share of the riches. Well, Pronto won't be falling for that trick. I'm in. Sorry, Pronto. You're leaving too. I have to insist. I know you guys must think I'm crazy, but I have my reasons for this. You just need to trust me. We do trust you, Eli. We just wish you'd trust us. <sighs> Had to be done, Burpee. They can't find out about the surface, and we have to find out how Gar knows what he knows. They'll understand, right? You made the right choice, my boy. The very right choice. <laughs> The Shane brand is just what this expedition needs to bring it some legitimacy. Huh? Believe it or not, the promise of fame and fortune can sometimes attract a less than savory element. Really? I hadn't noticed. I need to speak to Gar in private. Yeah, excuse me a moment, won't you, Eli? A Shane? I was supposed to be the face of the expedition, remember? Don't worry, you'll still get your payday, Andre. In the meantime, a little 
class isn't going to kill us. Eli, let's have a chat. I just don't get it. Why would Eli join God's expedition? Obviously, for the vast riches that await him. Nah, Eli's never cared about money. There's something else going on here. I just wish he'd confide in us. Eli's kept secrets before, but he's never let them stop us from being a team. Moss extract. <laughs> my own concoction from my time among the Knoll tribes of Xanadu Basin. Ugh. I'm no fool, Eli. I know what others think of me. Right now, if my name appeared in the history books, it would be as a failure. This is my last chance. It can't fail. And with you on board, oh, I'm certain it won't. And, uh, what makes you think I can help? I believe it was fate that brought you to me, Eli. The truth is, for all my work, I'm still a piece or two away from knowing how to reach the above world. With a Shane on board, I can secure the funding I need to get that final piece. Easy, Burpee. We just need to keep him talking. Did you say something, Eli? I said, um, how did you learn about the above world? I've been obsessed for years, and I'm not alone. The legend of the burning world is believed by many, and even in those who don't, most of us wonder what else might be out there. Clues are all over if you know where to look. For instance? Stories passed down from one generation to the next. All too many include a mention of the burning world. And then, there is this, my greatest clue. You won't be able to read it, I'm sure. It's written in code. I can read this. It's our cipher. This is the Shane code. Maps, log entries. This tells how to use the drop. Uncle Jimmo. Jimmo? The Shane before your father? Uh, but that means, yes, of course, it's a Shane journal. Oh, that's the missing piece. The word Shane is a cipher, a keystone to the whole book. Eli, this is amazing. It changes everything. I've cracked the code. I can find the way up. Gar, no. What's in that book is secret for a reason. Then, then it's true. What's true is you need to give me that diary. Your coming to me was fate, Eli. I'm sure of that now. I will not be a failure. <laughs> help! I need help in here! The Shane! Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha! Car, listen to me! Don't do this! I owe you a debt, Eli. Every instruction, the precise method to reach the above world, is all in this book, along with all the glory I deserve. <laughs> After him! All my research is in that book! <laughs> Tell the men, grab whatever equipment they need. After we get that book back, we leave for the burning world! Finishing blow. Yeah. Eli, what's going on? Nothing. Go back to your game. You're still playing that? I refuse to let it beat me. I gotta win at least one game. Yeah, that's a heck of an arsenal for nothing, bro. I told you I'll handle it. I don't want you involved. It's Shane business. Yeah? And we're the Shane gang. I don't want you guys getting hurt, all right? You just stay here. There's still time for me to ride out and lead them away. Uh, I am not certain what you're talking about exactly, uh, but perhaps it is too late to leave us out of it. Drag us out here to chase a boy! You promised us treasure of them! Fame! I am not a man to be trifled with, Andre! <laughs> not today! Listen to me! All of you! You want fame and fortune? Well, that Shane boy is the key! First man to bring him to me gets a triple share! Yeah! <laughs>
I think there's even more of them than before! For Pete, man the auto blasters! <laughs> We need to get you out of here. Eli. My dad once told me about an escape tunnel into town. If we hurry, we can get through before they reach us. Eli, we're not leaving. But you don't even know what you're fighting for. It doesn't matter. We're a team. We don't need to know. Yeah, you do. Any other ideas? This isn't gonna be easy to hear. All of you are gonna have questions. Unfortunately, now's not the time to answer them, so I'll just be quick. Remember all that stuff Gar was saying about a world above Slug Terra? <laughs> yeah? You mean that made up yarn he was spinning? Yeah, well, it's not made up. The world above is real. And it's my number one job as a Shane to keep it a secret. No way! You're joking, bro. I know what you're thinking, but it's not a joke. I'm asking you to take a lot on faith here, but you needed to know the truth. I don't buy it. It's a lot, I know. Eli, when I was a little girl, my mom used to tell me about the burning world every night before she tucked me in. You have to grow up. You can't keep believing in fairy tales. In this case, the fairy tale is real. This isn't just about Slug Terra. If Gar reaches the surface, both worlds will pay the price. Say you're right. How does Gar know all this? From this. It's my great uncle's. Based on the tiny look I got, every question I've ever had, every puzzle about my father and what came before me, the answer could be in here, including how to get topside. If Gar got his hands back on it, Eli, we can do this all day. Is this what you want, Gar? No! Cease fire! Cease fire! You might hit the book! Why take the diary when you can have me? Intriguing proposition. I think I'll take both. Fine. I'll come along. One condition. Leave my friends out of this. They aren't involved. There. Now you're being sensible. You don't need friends. At the end of the day, you're all alone. No, I told them I didn't want them involved. Then again, they never seem to listen to me. One in a million You wanted me, now you got me! It's <laughs> over, Eli! Get out of here, bro. I can handle myself. With the lava links at point-blank range? I don't think so. Let him go, Gar. You can have the book. No! Give it to me! <laughs> <laughs> It's not fair! I was so close! Nothing personal, kid. This was strictly business. Wait, it's not over. This is just a setback. They were right. This was nothing but a sham. It wasn't. I'll find another way. You Go just need... Go away, Gar. It's over. Wait, wait. Where are you going? You just need to get... I have a feeling Ravel won't be a problem anymore. Listen, guys. About what happened... It's cool, Eli. We get it. Shane's secrets, right? I want to show you something. When I first met you, I said I came from a secret cavern, far away from here. Well, that wasn't entirely true. It was far away, but it wasn't a cavern. Then where did you grow up? Up there. In a hole? That hole is called the Drop. It's how I got here. 
it leads to the place Gar wanted to reach. Uh, the burning world? I call it the surface, but yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. It's gonna be hard to wrap your head around this. Your entire universe pretty much just exploded. Yeah, so did my brain. I knew the Shanes kept secrets, but this one? Wow. The magic that exists here, the slugs, they would be lost forever if the surface world ever found out about Slug Terra. And if that happens, all the evil below us would have nothing to stop it. Slug Terra is the first and last line of defense. That's why our two worlds can never mix. You shouldn't have told us this, Eli. It's too big a secret. You should have kept it in the family. You guys are my family. And from now on, no more secrets. I'll tell you everything I know. Though, as far as being a Shane is concerned, that's not a whole lot. And you just torched the book that might have changed all that. There was nothing in that book we can't figure out for ourselves, including how to get back up there. That's the other thing. For now, at least, it was a one-way trip for me. So I guess we're stuck with you then. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I gotta say, you guys are taking this news pretty well. Oh, are you kidding me? I got about a million questions. Now, the sky thing, does it really go on forever? Dad, are there molinoids in this place? And if so, are they respected as superior life forms? Or just slightly superior? And what's up with this moon thing? What keeps it from falling down on top of us? Why don't I start at the beginning? We live on a planet called Earth. Earth? Planet? Equally superior? 